defy a wicked queen with twice the power this world has ever seen. I think you did a fantastic job as uh, Ravenna. I mean, uh, wow, she's like really evil and uh, you know really out there. Oh, and we see thanks. that. Um, uh, beauty and uh, you know staying young is very important to her. Where would you say um, this stems from in the character? I mean, where's all that coming from? We showed her being kind of ripped away from her family at a very young age when she's around nine or ten years old mm -hmm. to be married off to a king and she's replacing an older queen. Mm -hmm. And her mother says to her, this is life. This is the world we live in. Like, mm -hmm. beauty is the currency to power. And you will have no power if you're if you can't maintain beautiful. That's that's the money in our world, and so it doesn't just become about the vanity of beauty. It really becomes about the the need and the greed for power. And I think seeing her set up that way kind of explains a woman that had been brutalized as a young girl and made to believe that the world works one way, mm -hmm. and that is that men will use you mm -hmm. and they'll spit you out mm -hmm. uh, if you can't maintain this youthful beauty that is the ultimate power for a woman. When you think about it, I mean, when we think about Ravenna, we just think that she's this like god awful villain. But I think all of those things, all of those circumstantial things really damaged her as a young girl. Some of the, you know, like what you said, some of the, the, the scenarios we see there is they, they all come from pain and betrayal. Yeah. What would you say would be uh, your takeaway from the movie, something that you could apply in real life? Well, I always liked thematically that the fairy tale played in this world of exploring self-worth, especially for women. And, you know, that the mirror kind of becomes this projection of your own head and the things that we kind of tell ourselves as women, the, where we place our self-worth. And I think, I think we all know better, but it's hard to live in a world and actually apply that every mm -hmm. single day. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that's why I wanted to be a part of the story, because I thought that there was something very relevant to a story that was written hundreds of years ago that still applied mm -hmm. to women today, because we still live in a society where we think of women that way and women kind of behave that way. Well, hopefully, um, you know, one day all of that's going to change, you know? Yeah, definitely.